These are the Meta Ray-Ban Smart Glasses. We've had them for a little bit over a week and a half, and since my wife posted these to our Instagram, we've gotten a ton of questions from friends and family. Well, now that we've gotten to test this out in a variety of different situations and had some actual time to spend with these, I think we're ready to answer all of your questions. So most people getting these are probably going to consider three things, and that's going to be the price, the features, and whether or not these actually look good. So. That's one of the big things with this piece of tech is that when it comes to smart glasses, you actually want them to be a beautiful pair of glasses and not look like coming out of some cyborg movies. So for price point, the Meta Ray-Bans, I believe start at around $300 and can get all the way up to 400s if you opt for the more expensive transition lenses. Other than that, some of the regular glasses are even 200 to even more expensive than these. So I find it kind of curious that from a pricing perspective, it does seem to make sense. I have a pair of actual prescription glasses here. These ones cost me about $100 in the Philippines. And if you were to tell me that for $200 more, you'd put a camera in, put in a microphone, put in speakers, I would definitely say, wow, that sounds like an awesome idea. And hey, guess what? Meta Ray-Bans, that they did it. From a features perspective, the camera, an actually decent looking set of glasses. And then on top of that, these little uh, speaker grills that have directional audio that projects the audio right into your eardrum. So these work really, really well. Another feature though that I'm leaving out specifically because it's one that I don't really use too often and that is the AI features of it. So essentially I could say, Hi Meta, write me a script for a YouTube video about the Meta Ray-Bans and it will write in my ear a full script. It'll even show up on my phone. But one thing I wanna let you guys know, I gotta say, I don't know why Meta's voice is probably the worst ones that I've used across the board from like Amazon's Alexa to like Google's Assistant, just in the sense that it's not as smart as some of the other devices because it specifically only runs with like the Meta universe and it is more similar to like a ChatGPT to where you can't really control your home devices and turn on your lights or do some sort of cool stuff. So that is one caveat that I did notice, but hey, I didn't really buy these for the AI features. Now, another cool thing, not guaranteed, is that uh, Meta did announce that next year there's gonna be an update for these glasses. Essentially, you could have the same pair and it's gonna start to utilize the camera that's built into the glasses and the AI so that you can ask it questions about what you're looking at. Kind of interesting use case scenario that, hey, maybe if it works, people will actually enjoy. That does pose a pretty interesting question though, I'd say, is that these are roughly one of the only commercially viable glasses or devices that have their own built-in kind of chat GPT AI sort of feature in them. But I do think that you're gonna to start to see something like AI features built into more of your devices. So right now it's in this smart glasses, but next year, who knows, it might be in your earbuds. Another thing to note is that the AI features are not advertised to work outside of the USA. So if you guys are living somewhere else, don't expect to be able to ask uh, Meta AI features because I've seen plenty of people saying that it just doesn't work over there. But that shouldn't be an absolute deal breaker because as a person who owns these, uses them, I never ask it AI questions. Now, the main thing that people wanna know about is the camera. How does this camera work? What's going on? So it's really difficult to see, but there's actually a little camera right here on the left side and it's matched over on the right side, but this right side is not a camera. So you actually only have one camera, but it is a really great camera, surprisingly. So it's 12 megapixels, does a decent job at actually stabilizing so that while you're walking, you can just go ahead, walk, film as if you're, you know, normal looking at stuff. And it does a really great job at not making the footage look super shaky. Uh, another thing to note is that people may have noticed is filming with glasses that look like they're not really a camera. Could be a little bit of a privacy concern for others. So what Meta does is when you're taking a video, right, let me go ahead and do this here. You're gonna see this light come on. That's supposed to indicate to people that, hey, you're actually filming. They really encourage everyone to tell people about this light so that, you know, it's, it's more known. But I would say from point of view, like it's really not super obvious that it is filming. When it comes to video quality, not the best. I I'll tell you that it's not gonna be uh, blowing everything out the water. But I would say it's pretty comparable to something like an iPhone 12 or maybe even a little bit better. Another thing about the video that comes out of these is that they are vertical 1080p videos. And I think that's actually done after post-processing the video and stabilizing it. One thing I've noticed is that you can actually get a quick preview while it's importing before it's done processing. And you're gonna see that 
that footage that you shot would have been a more of a fisheye wider aspect ratio but once it kind of stabilizes the footage it does get cropped in a little bit now if people are concerned about using this for horizontal videos that are 1080p you can zoom in the quality is going to take a bit of a reduction and obviously you're going to lose some of that framing but it kind of works and if you're someone super super technical and really want to use these for like high professional grade filming i don't think these are going to be your glasses but if you're someone who wants to actually take really awesome home videos vlogs make sorts of content that you can share online with others in a nice easy and streamlined way i would say these are going to be perfect for that ah oh, my head It's just a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit too oh thick God. though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a camera, yeah. yeah, it's a camera. This is uh, Facebook's oh, newest I camera I actually. Are you gonna be a mission? Okay, so answering your questions because I know I definitely had questions before having them. So babe, what do we got? So they're asking, can you get them wet? These are rated IPX4 I believe, which means they should survive in light rain, but definitely don't go swimming underwater with these. Yo, how do these work? So when you get a pair of these, you're gonna get a charging case for them. And the charging case is gonna look like this. It's really cool because it has this little charging light and there is a magnetic snap so that the glasses can go and charge just like that. When you first get them, it's also gonna ask you to pair this to your phone. You're gonna have to sign in with a Facebook account. And other than that, the whole setup, I think, took only about five minutes or less. How do you transfer photos? Transferring photos is one of the easiest processes that I've had. These automatically will transfer the footage to your phone. So when you first set up the Meta Ray-Bans, you have to connect it to a smartphone. And you're gonna see that in the app, you're gonna be able to auto import the footage whenever it's connected to a charging case. So oftentimes, if I'm still wearing them, it's not gonna auto import. So I'll just have to click on it in the app. But if I just take these off, put them inside of the charging case, then they're gonna connect to my phone and instantly start to send that footage because I have that feature turned on. That's been a really, really cool thing about these that I've loved is that just transferring the footage has been easy. One thing though is I have no idea how to get these onto a desktop computer without that little intermediary step. I have prescription glasses. Can I wear these? So I'm gonna show you something. I actually have a pair of prescription glasses. I really wanted to get these for that prescription. One thing that I found out is that if you're living outside of the country, it might be a little bit difficult if you're out of the US. So uh, I'm not too certain if you can do it. However, if you are in the US, you can go to a lens crafters and they will be able to take your prescription and apply it to the, your glasses. Another thing is, is that you can also order them from lens crafters by inputting in your prescriptions that they send to you already with that prescription in there. Is it lens crafters or sunglass hut? Uh, so sunglass hut lets you just try on them and pop out the shades, but for the actual prescription ones, it's gonna be the uh, lens crafters. Are you able to upload these on Facebook and Instagram? Yes, Meta has made it super easy, in fact, to upload any of your footage. So obviously you're gonna get that share button to upload your content. But another really cool feature that I'd like them to expand on even more is that you can directly connect these to your Instagram's live feed and your Facebook's live feed. So you get up to 30 minutes continuous recording on these while live streaming. I haven't found a specific use case for me, except I could imagine maybe someone who makes beats or makes different arts and crafts, they can actually live stream that process from their own perspective, which I think we're gonna see a lot of cool stuff coming out really soon with that feature. All right, I'm just gonna change out these glasses because I feel like a douche wearing uh, shades indoors. All right, here we go. The next question is about the transitions and the blue light filters. So these are the second pair of glasses that I bought. The reason being is I actually liked wearing them indoors and taking indoor footage. So I wanted something that was clear and these ones come with a blue light filter. These actually look really great. Now, the more expensive pair, the $400 pair is gonna be the transitions. I have a pair of those coming in, but I don't have them on me right now. So unfortunately, I can't say too much about that. 